For the last 12 days, health facilities in Nepal have struggled to cope with the thousands injured in the earthquake that devastated the country. Now they also face the threat of epidemics. Our special correspondent has been to the main maternity hospital in the capital, Kathmandu. On the floor of Kathmandu Maternity Hospital, Deepa Amamanta is breastfeeding her baby. The little girl is just a few hours old. I thought I'd give birth the day of the earthquake, but she's just been born and now we're on the floor. There are no beds. Next to her, Ponima is worried. In these conditions, I'm scared my baby will catch some disease. It's the same for this 20-year-old woman. She's just been discharged. I had my baby yesterday. I'm very happy, but we've nowhere to go. My home in Sindhu Palchok was destroyed. The impact of the earthquake is everywhere. With difficulty, we are keeping the patients on the floor, in corridor, some, sometimes outside the building also. 30% of the hospitals have been damaged. They're having to treat people in tents. Even before the quake, there were only 50 beds for every 10,000 of Nepal's population. The risk for us really is whether, uh, if a population who have lost their homes also lose access to clean water. The country is in a race against time. They want to avoid outbreaks of diseases like diarrhea and cholera, which is endemic in Nepal. So they've carried out emergency vaccinations for the most vulnerable. So maybe the sanitation condition is quite um, a deteriorated uh, condition, but you know that uh, doesn't mean that uh, there will be an outbreak. 1.7 million children are believed to be at risk. The authorities can only recommend people boil their water.